Yeshua will give you wisdom inside your heart. He will give you wisdom inside your heart because many people's hearts become darkened because of foolishness. Their foolish heart has become darkened. So Jesus Christ can shed light into your heart because you need the light of Christ, folks. But many people, they reject Christ because, because they love the darkness. A lot of people, you love the darkness more than the light. So, folks, the light of Christ has come upon you. Jesus Christ has come. So, so Jesus Christ, folks, Jesus Christ says, since he came, there's no more cloak for their sin. So since the Son of God has come, there's no more cloak for your sin. Jesus Christ has came to expose sin. But many people don't like that. A lot of people, they want to hide in the darkness, like your government. They want to hide in the darkness, secret societies, because the darkness is scared of the light. The Bible says the darkness cannot comprehend the light. The darkness cannot comprehend the light. And many people, you're so in darkness, you cannot understand God. You cannot understand God. You're like, God, because you're so much in darkness. All the sin, all the drugs has ruined your brain. It makes you crazy. It makes you angry for no reason because of the darkness. Jesus Christ has come to eliminate the darkness inside your mind and heart. He's come to give you light, pure light, pure light. That's what you want, folks. Light of love and joy and peace. You're seeking for love, but you're doing it at the wrong place. Love is not out here. Peace is not out here. It's only found in your creator. It's found in Christ. It's only found in Christ. Jesus Christ says the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Right now, I'm sowing seeds into you folks where the devil wants to steal the seed. The devil wants to steal that seed of the word of God. The devil is a thug. The devil is a thug. The devil is a robber. The devil is a gangster. The devil is wicked. And many people don't want you to hear the gospel. Many people want you to die in your sin because they hate you. The government wants you to, to die in your sin. They don't care about you. The government just wants you to smoke, do cigarettes, have sexual morality, change your gender, and get in debt and die. That's what the government wants you to do. Just, just play the system. Just play the game. Just listen to the government. Go with the system. Don't think about God. That's what society promotes. Watch TikTok, get brain dead, hate yourself, have insecurities about your body. That's what the world promotes. Nothing good. It's all negative. It's, it's all conceited. God bless you, man. God bless you, bro. God bless you. This is what the world promotes. So what does Sin City promote? The same stuff. Sin City promotes the same stuff, but at a, at a, at a larger scale. So what does Sin City promotes? Drugs, immorality, half-naked guys, half-naked women. All this stuff is going to destroy you if you don't repent. There's many people who came to Las Vegas full of gambling. It's for you, man. God bless you. God bless you. Very good. So only, so only Jesus Christ, folks, only Jesus Christ can give you the light of life. Only Jesus Christ can give you true wisdom. Only true wisdom. Oh, that, that's, the, that's the devil right there. That's, that's just the devil, man. So only Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can give you the light of life. Hallelujah. So, so what does the world, what does the world promote? The world promotes destruction. The devil is for destruction, but Jesus Christ is for eternal life. And you can have eternal life. You can have eternal life that's found through Christ. You don't have to die a porn addict. You don't have to die a crazy guy yelling at preachers on the street. You don't have to die like that. You don't have to die like that. You can die and knowing where you're going. It's not a guess, folks. Many people, you're like, I don't know where I'm going when I die. I just find out what happens. That's horrible. That's terrible, folks. Don't do that to yourself. Don't play Russian roulette with your eternal life because Jesus Christ loves you, folks. God bless you guys. So you can know, folks, God loves you enough to let you know, hey, hey, come to me. Jesus Christ says, hey, come to me. But the world says, you know what? Believe in that, believe in that. Go here, go there, go that. That's confusing, folks. God is not confusing. God is not the author of confusion. God made it very simple. God says, hey, believe in my son, Jesus, for eternal life. But all these, all these other fake religions, what they say, these fake religions say you have to meditate, you have to go through that, you have to do this, you have to go through this program. All these fake religions, you have to go through all these obstacles. What these fake religions is full of works. 
but you cannot work to get to heaven. You cannot work your way to heaven. You can never work your way to heaven. Hallelujah. You can never do it. That's why the Bible says we're saved by grace through faith. So what's your faith in? Many people, you have faith in something. Some people, you have faith in so-called science. You have faith in evolution. You have faith that you came from fish and monkeys. I mean, folks, that's dehumanizing to say you come from a monkey. That, that's, that's messed up to say your ancestors came from monkeys. But you believe that stuff, though. You believe it. You believe it. You don't question it. You don't want to question it because you love sin. You want to be an animal. You want to act like an animal. So when these teachers, so when these, when these doctors with these degrees tell you we come from monkeys, since you don't know God, since you don't fear God, you take it as truth. You have to love the truth, says the Bible. If you don't love the truth, you're going to love a lie. And many people, you're living a lie. Your lifestyle is a lie. You say you're okay without God, that's a lie. You say you don't need God, that's a lie. You're living in a lie. So this world is full of lies because the father of lies, which is the devil. The devil is the father of lies. And the devil can set you free. You need to repent, bro, before you die. Don't go to hell. Okay. Yeah. Depart from evil. The fear of the Lord, man, depart from evil. That guy is something wrong with that guy. So this is the thing, folks. This, this is the thing. Hey, bro, don't listen to the devil, bro. The devil is in your head. The devil wants to convince you to go to hell, folks. The devil doesn't want you to have eternal life. The devil wants you to be asleep. The devil wants you to just live a regular lifestyle. Just go to school, get drunk, go to Las Vegas, play sports. Don't care about Jesus Christ and die to go to hell. So good people don't go to heaven, folks. Good people don't go to heaven. Forgiving people do. Forgiving people do. A lot of folks, you think you're so good. You think you're so good. That you think you're right with God, but you're not. You have to repent. You have to honor God. You have to live a lifestyle of righteousness and holiness. It's a relationship with God. God is a person, folks. God is a person. Like you're a person. Your grandma's a person. God is a person that you can know that you should know. Everyone should know God. The Bible says uh, when God comes down, everyone's going to know who Jesus is. But right now, folks, God is testing you to see where's your heart at. God is testing you to see are you going to seek him or not. So everything in life is a test. Everything in life right now is a test to see where you seek the Lord. Hey, what's happening, yo? So, folks, so Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, he's your author and finisher of your faith. He's the author and finisher of your faith. Hey, don't say that demon, bro. That demon's going to talk to you. Ignore him. Don't say anything. So, folks, only Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath. Only Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath to come, folks. Only Jesus Christ can save you. So salvation is offered, folks. Salvation is here. It's here for you. You're rejecting life. You know you're going to die one day. And you're rejecting Jesus, folks. It's not smart. It's not very wise. Where you get that from, man? That's nice. Yeah, he's down there. God bless him. So, folks, only Christ can save you from the wrath to come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So you got to repent and believe in the gospel. Have to repent and believe in the gospel. The kingdom of God is at hand. So God is bringing down his kingdom. God's going to rule the world. He's going to rule the nations with a rod of iron. So God is a personal God. God wants intimate relationship with his children. So Jesus Christ came down the first time to teach us. Jesus Christ came down the first time to save the world. He's coming back again to destroy the wicked and to reign on earth with his children. And that can be you. You can be a child of God. You, you can become a child of God. You're not children of God by default. You have to become a child of God by obeying God and living for God. But if, if you're rejecting God, if you're ignoring God, how are you his child? How, how are you obeying God? So, folks, a lot of people, you don't belong to the Lord because you have not committed your life to the Lord. You're committed to your own selfish desires. You're committed too much in the things of the world. 
See, there's nothing wrong about having a job and having doing sports and stuff, but where's your priority? Is your priority Jesus? Or is it yourself? Or is it your sexual desires? Where's your priority, people? Because Jesus Christ says, to follow him, you must deny yourself and pick up your, pick up your cross. To follow Jesus Christ, it's not an easy thing to follow Christ. Because Christ says to follow him, you must deny yourself. And many people, you don't want to deny yourself. You keep giving in to the same sins, the same drugs, the same porn. You keep giving in to the same sins. You're not denying yourself. Because all saints of God have to overcome. I have to overcome fornication and pornography and masturbation and all types of stuff. I have to overcome it. So all saints, all saints have to overcome darkness by the help of God. But many people, you're not overcoming anything in this world. The darkness is overcoming you. You're not fighting back against your darkness. You're giving up. You're too weak. You're saying, oh, bro, I can't do that, bro. That's too much. You're so spiritually weak. The devil has made you weak, folks. All the immorality, all the drugs, it makes you weak. It makes your heart weak. The Bible says the heart of the wicked is little worth. So people, your heart, when your heart is wicked, when your heart is weak, you cannot serve God with a weak heart. God doesn't want weak people. The Bible says the righteous are bold as lions. Real saints of God are bold. David was bold. David versus Goliath. Saints of God aren't punks. They're not sissies. Saints of God are bold because God lives inside us. God works through us. So people, the world wants to make you into a coward to be full of fear. All this COVID stuff makes you want to be full of fear. And you bow down to the government. But the Bible said God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. So if you're scared, if you're fearful, all the, the news and stuff, it's because you're not close with the Lord. You're too distant from God. And all the evil, all the darkness is, is overcoming your heart. You're believing too much in the words of Satan. Because Satan wants you to be fearful. He wants you to bow down to him. It's a trap, folks. It's a trap. But God says, if you're mine, you don't have to fear. If you, if you belong to the Lord, you don't have to fear about riots and chaos and what the government is doing. It doesn't matter because Jesus Christ is going to wipe all those wicked people away. Only Christ, he's going to overcome all this stuff he already has. The resurrection, Jesus Christ rose the third day. That's why Jesus Christ says, it is finished. Christ says, it is finished, folks. It's finished. So come to the winning team. Stop being part of the losing team, which is called sin. It is finished, glory to God, hallelujah. It is finished. So come to the finished works of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can redeem you, folks. He can redeem you. He can redeem you. The commandments of God must be obeyed. Jesus Christ, the Bible says, you know you love God if you obey his commandments. If you obey his commandments, how we know is how you know if you love God or not. Jesus Christ says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So if you're not obeying God's commandments, you don't love God. So the Bible says, don't be, don't be lovers. Let's not, let's not be, um, the Bible says you must be doers of the word, not be hearers only, but be doers of the word. You must do what the word of God says. It's not gonna benefit you to read the word of God and do the opposite. It's not gonna help you out. A lot of people, you can quote the Bible, but you don't obey the Bible, which is pointless. The Bible is meant for you for instruction and righteousness and correction. So everyone, everyone in life, you need correction and instruction in your life. So the lamp, the, the Lord, the commandments are a lamp to your feet. So people, you gotta understand this. The commandments are a lamp to your feet. It will guide you. God will guide you in this dark world. But without God's commandments, you're walking in darkness. You're walking in foolishness. You don't know where you're going. You're getting drunk. You're stumbling. You're going to people's houses. You're sleeping around in different bedrooms. You don't know why you're doing it. You're getting drunk. You're getting taken advantage of. What are you doing? You're walking in foolishness because you don't have God's instruction. 
God's not guiding your feet. The Bible says their feet are swift to run to evil. So if, you're, if your feet are not being guided by the Lord. You want one of these, man? Go, I'm, I'm a Hebrew, but I say something. Go, don't touch that's a trick. So folks, so folks, people, you understand. That's a demon, folks. That's a demon. That's a demon. Don't worry about that. But but for real, but folks, your feet must be guided by the Lord. Because if not, your feet will run to evil. Your feet will run to Las Vegas. It will run to Sin City. So by default, if your feet's not being led by God, it's being led to go into sin. So people, you must commit all your members to the Lord. You must surrender all your members to God. Hallelujah. Because people, with the things you do your members for, God's going to hold you accountable for, with what you use your hands for. A lot of people, you, you use your hands for evil stuff, to masturbate, to, to, for violence. You use your hands for evil stuff. A lot of people use your feet for evil stuff to go evil places. Because Las Vegas is full of human trafficking, it's full of prostitution, it's full of drugs, drug addicts, drug lords. Crackheads, all this stuff is full of Las Vegas. There's a reason why Las Vegas is full of poverty. There's a reason why, it's, a reason why it's full of poverty, folks. Because sin, sin causes poverty. But God is full of love. God is full of riches. Hallelujah. The Bible says God, Jesus Christ became poor to make us rich. We can be spiritually rich with Christ. So it's not about being a millionaire on this earth. It's about being rich in the spirit. Are you rich with Christ? Because God will give us a, a mansion. The Bible, Jesus Christ says, my father has many mansions. So God has a, a, a place prepared for his saints. God has a place prepared for his children um, in, a, in a different dimension. It's called heaven. But in this world, folks, in this world, you're not going to get everything you want. But it's because God has a life set up for you. God knows what you need. For you to get to him god's not worried about you being rich and famous god wants you to be obedient god wants you to have eternal life but the devil wants you to be so assumed so consumed with riches and fame and nice cars and fast girls all this stuff it keeps you off the mind of heaven you cannot think about fast girls and jesus christ at the same time you just can't where's your heart at folks where your heart at is where your treasure is also where your heart loves, folks, is what you're gonna is what you're gonna go. So when your when your heart loves sin, you're gonna go to Sin City. You're gonna come to Sin City because your heart loves sin. When your heart loves God, you're gonna be led by God. You're, you're gonna do the things of God. That's what happens, folks. But but God can change your heart. God God can change you, folks. You cannot change yourself. You you can't change yourself, folks. But Christ can change you. God will spiritually change you. God will supernaturally change you. When you're born again and get, and get baptized, you receive the Holy Spirit. You receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So this is why, folks, you have to repent. You have to repent and come to the Lord. You have to repent and turn to the Lord Christ before it's too late. Don't die in your sins. Don't die a wicked person. You must be born again. Only Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can give you eternal life. The Bible says in Romans, Romans 8, 6, to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, folks. To be carnally minded, to mean to think like an animal, to think with your instincts, it is death. It is death to think with a carnal mind, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. We have the peace of God living inside you, folks. We have God's peace living inside you. You won't seek the pleasures of the world. The pleasures of the world won't satisfy you. As a children of God, this world doesn't satisfy me because this world is it, it, full of nothing. It's emptiness. This world makes you empty. This world makes you an addict, a drug addict. It makes, it makes you a, a porn addict. It makes you a, all types of ad addictions. And the world can't help you when you get an addict. The world says, the world says here's some pills, man. You have a problem with your head, here's some pills. The world wants to put you on pills. We have a problem. So this world really can't help you. This world, this world promotes all types of death. This world doesn't want to promote anything good for you. The world promotes things like cigarettes and drugs. Cigarettes promote cancer. People get cancer from cigarettes. 
but people still, uh, but, the, but the world still sells it. So this is how you know the world is full of death. This world is full of death, but Christ is full of life. Eternal life is only found through Christ. So the Bible says evil pursues sinners. So living in sin, folks, there's evil pursuing you. Why do you think a lot of bad things happen in Las Vegas? Because people do evil and evil pursues them. Folks, all the demons are attracted to Las Vegas. All these demonic spirits of depression, anxiety, suicide, murder, they all come out here because they know you're going to open your body up to them. These spirits need a body. These demonic spirits need a body. And they go inside your body. When you get drunk, when you have sex or prostitutes, your body is filled with those same demonic spirits. And this is why you're becoming worse and worse year by year. You're more of a pervert. You're more depressed. You're more suicidal because your body is full of demonic spirits because you keep living in sin. You're living in sin. So you got to come out of sin and repent and turn to the Lord. Sin will destroy you. Sin will destroy you. But Christ will give you eternal life. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Hallelujah. The Lamb of God who sits on the throne. He will judge the quick and the dead. Jesus Christ will judge everyone who's ever existed, folks. He's going to judge you. You're going to stand before God and give an account for your life. And God, God's going to judge you by His commandments. God's going to judge you by His commandments. He's not going to judge you by your opinion or what you thought. You can't say, oh God, I thought this was okay. Oh Jesus, I thought this was okay. It's not going to work like that because God sent His Word to tell you what He approves of and what He doesn't like. So you can know what God, you can know God through His Word, through the Holy Scriptures. You don't have to be ignorant. The Bible says in Hosea 4, 6, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. People die and go to hell because of their lack of knowledge. You're too busy, you're too busy reading Harry Potter books. You're too busy reading Sports Center books and Time Magazine. But you're not reading the Word of God. You're not in the Word of God. So put down all the fiction books, put down all the comic books, and pick up the Word of God that has eternal life. Search the scriptures of Jesus Christ. Eternal life is found through the scriptures. All the Bible is about Jesus. All the Bible is about Jesus. The whole world, the whole world is made by Christ and is made for Christ. So life is about Jesus. And if you don't understand now, you're gonna understand later. A lot of people go to hell that realize life was not about them. It's about knowing who Jesus was and they missed out. A lot of people you missed out on eternal life or you're gonna miss out if you don't repent. The devil wants you to waste your time here on earth living in sin, living in unrepentant sin. So this is why we must repent this is why we must understand what the will of God is for our life. This is why we must come to the Lord. We must come to the Lord. We must come to the Lord before it's too late, folks. We got to repent. We got to repent, folks. These demons want you to live in sin. These demons hate you. If you go to hell, these demons are going to mock you. You know, demons mock humans in hell. Demons mock you in hell for rejecting the gospel. Because you heard the gospel, you know you're going to die, and you said, no, thank you. So hell is full of mockery. It's full of torment, mental torment, physical torment. So, so people, this is why, folks, this is why you must repent. You must repent and believe the gospel. Because these demons will always say the opposite. These demons will always say the opposite of what God says. So these demons are the biggest haters, folks. These demons are the biggest haters. So this is why you must be born again, guys. You must be born again and come out of sin because these demonic spirits want you to get drunk. They want you to not care about Christ. They want you to live a, a lifestyle of vanity. All is vanity, says the Bible, but your life can have purpose through the, through the blood of Jesus, folks. Through the blood of Jesus, your life can have purpose, hallelujah. Because purpose is only found in Christ. Purpose is found in God. You, God bless you, bro. Because there is no, there is no purpose in getting drunk. There, there is no purpose. There is no purpose in getting drunk 
and, and, and stumbling. There's no purpose in sin, folks. There's only purpose in Christ. There's only purpose in Christ Jesus. And Jesus Christ has a destiny laid out for you. So we must follow the plans of righteousness, folks. He, does, he doesn't love your sin. He, he hates your sin. He's going to throw you in hell for your wicked sin. He's going to throw you in hell for your sin. I'm not here to warn you because you're deceived, folks. Most Americans, you think Jesus Christ is a sissy. Jesus Christ is not a punk, folks. Jesus Christ is not like you, folks. He's not soft like you. Jesus Christ is a king, folks. Jesus Christ is a king. The Bible says everyone's going to bow to Jesus. Jesus Christ, you're going to bow to Jesus, folks. So Jesus Christ is not some, some soft sissy. So Jesus Christ is commanding you to repent and come out of sin. Jesus Christ says, repent or perish, folks. He says, repent or perish. So Jesus Christ is not going to discuss with you about heaven. He's going to say, repent or you're going to die and go to hell. Jesus Christ has all authority. Jesus Christ is not playing with you, folks. It's Christ. Jesus Christ, folks, has all authority. Jesus Christ is not going to debate with you. He's not going to debate with you folks a lot of folks a lot of folks in america you're so full of going back and forth and debating but when you stand before god god's not going to debate with you folks god's going to tell you where you're wrong god's going to tell you why did you reject me he said he's going to ask you why did you reject me when you heard the gospel there's going to be no excuses on that day when you stand before god there's going to be no excuses when you stand before god on that day so get rid of your excuses right now. Get rid of your excuses because your excuses aren't going to matter when you stand before God, folks. The world wants to give you all types of excuses and say things like, I was just born this way or I can't help it, man, or I need help, like all this stuff. Well, God is here to help you. God is your help. God knows you're weak. God knows you can't do it by yourself. That's why God says put trust in him. Stop putting your trust in yourself because you cannot overcome this world by yourself, folks. So this is why you must repent and come to the Lord. This is why you must repent and come to the Lord. You cannot overcome the darkness by your own strength. It's impossible. That's why many people are living in sin because they're trying to do it by themselves. You cannot do it by yourself. You must come to the Lord, folks. You must come to the Lord, folks. Only through the power of God, you can overcome this world, people. All, only by the power of God, you can overcome this world. So only, just for you, man. God bless you, bro. God bless you, man. God bless you, bro. That's a demon, bro. That's a demon. Don't worry about that. That's a demon. So only Jesus Christ can save you from the wrath to come, folks. So Jesus, folks, Jesus, only Jesus can save you. He's the Savior for a reason. He's the Savior. He's the Savior of the world. Hallelujah. He's the Savior of the world, our blessed Redeemer, our blessed Savior, the Son of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, Alpha and Omega, first and last, beginning and end, the Aleph Tav, hallelujah, that's Christ Jesus. And without Christ Jesus, you're going to die, you're going to perish in your folly. And there's no love, there's no wisdom, and there's no knowledge in hell. There's, no, there's nothing in the realm of the dead. People think there's a party in hell. There's no party in hell, folks. That's a lie from the devil. The devil is full of lies. That sounds good for sinners to say, oh yeah, there's a party in hell. That's so stupid. There's no party in hell. It's torment in hell. It's destruction in hell. There's demons ripping up your body in hell. So there's no fun in hell, folks. There's no fun in hell, and there's no fun in Las Vegas Sin City. There's no fun in sin. Sin is misery. This is a miserable place. Las Vegas is a miserable place. It's where lost people come to seek something to fill their void. Las Vegas is full of lost people looking for something to distract them from the problems of life. It's a lie, it's a facade. What Christ has come to show you what life is really about, what life is truly about. And life is not about sin because sin and life don't get along. This is why God, Jesus Christ, will destroy death and hell, folks. We weren't even made to die. We weren't made to die, but we chose to die when we rejected God. God is not the God of the dead. He's the God of the living. So dead people can't serve God. 
No one in hell can praise God. Only the living can praise God. So this is why you must reject death. This is why you must choose the path of righteousness. This is why you must humble yourself and repent and believe the gospel before it's too late because TikTok time is running out. All these apps called TikTok because you're TikToking your life away. You're wasting your time being dumbed down it by stupid videos, being dumbed down by Las Vegas, um, whatever, promoters and stuff like this and scammers. Wasting time, wasting money, chasing what? A, a, chasing what, a orgasm? Chasing what? A girl to touch on you? You folks are empty. You're empty. And Las Vegas cannot fill your void, people. It can't do it for you. Only God can satisfy you. Only Christ can satisfy your soul. Because many people, you're broken and inside. Your soul shattered. Your spirit is broken. A lot of people, you are broken because of sin. You come out here to be even more broken. And the devil says, don't you love your brokenness? Don't you love Sin City? And you go along with it. You're being deceived. The devil is a liar, folks. The devil has no, the devil has no um, faithfulness towards you. Even if you serve the devil, even if you serve the devil, the devil will still backstab you. The devil doesn't care about you. The devil just wants to use you. The devil wants to use you. Like some people, you use other people too. Like you use girls for sex. You use guys for money. The devil wants to use you to, to carry out his evil purposes. And many people you are being used by the devil. You're not being used by Christ. So either you're being used by the devil or you're being used by Christ. So you must pick. You must pick who you're going to be used by. Because the world says, hey, if you want to be famous, if you want to be rich, just sell your soul. All these celebrities, they sell their soul to Satan. They become weird. They become gay. They become emo because they sell their soul. They have no say over their life. So the Bible says in Mark, what is the profit of man to gain the world but lose his soul? What is it profit you to gain all the stuff in the world and die and go to hell? Because, because the devil will offer you all the kingdoms of the world. The devil will offer you all the Lamborghinis, all, all the whores, all the drugs, and you will die and still go to hell and feel stupid. Because the devil knows life is not about sin. Life is about knowing God, but he doesn't want you to know that. He doesn't want you to know Christ. He wants you to know sin and die your sin and die and go to hell and perish and be tormented. The devil wants you to feel his pain. The devil's going to hell and the devil wants you to go to hell with him. The devil wants you to burn in hell with him, folks. And many people, you're, you're, you're on that path of destruction because you don't know the Lord, because you don't fear God. You love darkness more than light and you have no excuse no more. You have no excuse. You're choosing wickedness over righteousness. So when you stand before God, God is going to give you a, a rightful judgment because God is the judge of all the earth. So like there's judges here on earth. There's a judge of the world. There's a judge of the universe. And it's Christ Jesus. And God humbled himself and came down in the flesh as a servant to die for you, folks. Jesus Christ died for you and all our wickedness, all the pain Christ took for us because that's how much God loved you. But do you love God? Do you love God or do you love Satan? Because coming out here is clearly that you love Satan and not Christ. Where's your heart at, people? Your heart cannot be for Sin City and say you love Jesus Christ. That's not how that works. That's called being double-minded. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You cannot be half Christ and half Satanist. You cannot be half Jesus and half, you know, Luciferian. That's not how that works. So this is why, folks, I guess. So this is why, people, you really got to pick a side. If you don't pick a side, folks, God's going to pick for you. If you cannot pick a side, God's going to pick for you. And if you're not picking Jesus Christ, you're picking the, you're picking the devil. Jesus, Jesus Christ says, folks, if you're not with me, you're against me. Christ says, if you're not with me, 
you're against me, folks. So a lot of people, a lot of people say, you don't want to believe in Jesus. You say, oh, Jesus Christ is a cool person, but Jesus Christ is God. Christ is God, folks. He's God. So people, Jesus Christ says, if you reject him, he's going to reject you. If you deny Christ, he's going to deny you. So each, each day you live, are you choosing Christ? Or are you choosing sin? The Bible says in Titus, they confess they know God, but by works they deny him. So by your lifestyle, folks, by your lifestyle, by, by your lifestyle, folks, you can see, folks, you can see that you reject Christ by your lifestyle if you're not obeying Jesus. If you're not obeying Jesus, folks, you're denying him. So the Bible says faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. Because the Bible says even demons believe and they tremble. So believing in God is not some uh, amazing thing. That's common sense to believe in God. That's common sense. The Bible says the fool said in his heart, there is no God. So if you don't believe in God, the Bible says you're a fool. You don't even have common sense. Because everything has a creator. A building has a builder. A painting has a painter. A creation has a creator. So it's common sense to believe in God. But, but you don't get any cookie. You don't, you don't get any cookie for believing in God. You have to, you have to have faith in God. You have to, your works have to back up your faith, folks. Your works have to back up your faith. So God doesn't want your cheap talk. God wants you to actually walk the walk. If you believe in him, you will live for him. And, it, and Christ calls you to surrender to him. Jesus calls you to surrender to him. And repent. You must be born again. Hallelujah. You must be born again. There's only one name on the heaven by which we're saved. It's the name of Jesus. Only Jesus Christ can save you. Because people, you need saving. You need a savior. And, and you're out here living in sin because you don't know the savior. You don't know Christ. And that's why you're living in sin. So only Jesus, only Jesus can save. Hallelujah.